Okay, Virgo, so this reading is for the solar eclipse that's coming in April. I will be getting up the Mercury retrograde readings as soon as I can as well, since everything looks pretty chaotic and a little wild. I know it's all in our best interest, but it's still a very uncomfortable period of time, and we're almost in the shadow period, so I, I can already feel things happening here. You know, I'm, it, I'm edgy. I'm super edgy. People around me are also agreeing that there's something already stirring, so... Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Give me three Oracle cards for Virgo. Financial security, concealment, and knowledge. Pretty good. I like it. So for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm going to just clear the space, Virgo, just because um, I've had a lot of readings this morning, and I have had no caffeine, um... If, if you guys have heard, I gave up coffee. I don't really know why. And, um, oh, well, I do know why, but, you know, it's it's going it's going better than I thought. I should just be quiet. All right, we'll get started. Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. Solar eclipse. Okay, Virgo. Oh, I like it. You're sort of like, you're in this, like, spiritual mode you're sort of like listening to your gut instincts you're you're following like whatever guidance like the higher people are giving you you know not necessarily people but you know whatever it is your beliefs are you're like you're really like bringing some sort of stability to your life okay i see you finding some sort of balance in your life you do have um yourself in the reverse though so maybe maybe this is an uncomfortable change maybe this is like a some sort of an awakening for you there is some sort of wish fulfillment that isn't working out um there is also an air sign in your in your energy here could be an aquarius Something you're not allowing to happen. What is that, Virgo? Decision making. So it looks like you have to make a decision to leave a situation, whether that's a person, a job, you know, whatever it is. And you are really hesitating doing this. You're just, you're, you're digging your feet in the ground, you know, like, I don't, I don't want to see how this turns out sort of feeling. Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. You may find that there's something comes up financially, else you have to give somebody some money or something happens like maybe, you know, your faucet breaks or your car breaks down, something of that nature too, okay? I also see a water sign here. Else you're watching them from a distance or they're watching you. It looks very emotional. I see messages going back and forth between the two of you. I see some sort of differences that you guys can't come to some sort of agreement on. Money look else you're gonna change what you're doing somehow like mix up what you're doing at work but Whatever it is, whatever projects you're working on right now for finances, I see them taking off, all right? Um, <clears throat> who's this fire sign in Virgo's energy? Who's this fire sign? Okay, for some of you, you might be getting a business partner. For others of you, you're just being, like, more sought after at work. You're going to find that, you know, people want to talk to you. Um, people want to give you more business, something of that nature. I actually think it makes you a little uneasy, Virgo, to be honest with you. I think the majority of the people this is going to resonate with might be a little bit of, um, a little introverted, you know? Somebody's dealing with a Leo. Some sort of karmic justice here, uh, will be happening for you in your benefit and give you some sort of healing. Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the Solar Eclipse. I do see some sort of argument. Again, could be with a water sign. 
and it could have to do with your um, how you or they take care of themselves so sort of like a judgy sort of situation um, maybe this is a family member and you don't like that they drink you know maybe this is um, uh, a close friend and you're worried about them or or maybe somebody's worried about you Virgo Sun Moon and rising Okay, so I think for some of you, again, if you are involved with anybody romantically or, you know, or even have a crush, something like that, you might be wondering if they have somebody on the side. They don't, okay, just an FYI. Um, for others of you, you could be just getting to know some people around the solar eclipse and really kind of like judging them. Um, maybe, maybe expecting the worst of them uh, i assure you that's they have they come with good intention virgo sun moon and rising something being illuminated for you i do see you walking away from an air sign as well um this this could be just because of their personality. They definitely have an attitude problem. There is a romantic situation coming up here. It's going to be a very slow moving romantic situation, whether you're involved now or not. Just know that you guys are going to have to make compromises, okay, in order to get to that Ten of Cups because it can't all it cannot be all one-sided which i believe it has been if you're involved or if you get to know somebody um around the solar eclipse just know that you know there is going to have to you're going to have to find some sort of balance some sort of agreement the irony is virgo it looks like you really enjoy being single by what the bottom of the deck was saying so it might be like harder for you to want to bend and 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 work with a partner I wouldn't bend for anybody, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> I, I've been through that shit. You know, I've been married twice. Like, I I was absolutely head over heels for somebody um, and probably would have done, like, literally anything for them. And now I'm not that person, like, at all, whatsoever. Um, I, if I don't like the way you chew, I can't be around you, you know? Like, I... I'm not... I'm not very Pisces anymore. Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. There could be a reconciliation coming as well. What is this reconciliation about? I'm seeing an apartment building. Somebody, somebody wants you back, Virgo. They see growth and prosperity. They may want children with you. Maybe you have they have children with you, something like that. I see you accepting this offer, just an FYI. If there was more than one person, there isn't any more. Okay? And again, you're coming out as like you're you're comfortable in your own skin. You're happy being single. Somebody would really have to like go above and beyond to make you want to be in a relationship again. And I feel like there are people here on the in this deck. Um, that are willing to do that. Three more cards and then I'm going to get the, one of these stupid oracles. Things progressing well for you. Decision making is going to be a little bit more difficult during this period of time for you. I, it, you could be helping people out too in your spare time, whether this is family or friends, and I do see you dropping a heavy burden. What is this heavy burden that Virgo is dropping? Oh, it's just casting people aside that that no longer serve you. That's it. That's that's the burden. You know, maybe you just you gave too much to people they didn't appreciate it, or maybe you put in too much effort, and didn't see any back. So let's see. Let's get you a pocket oracle for Virgo. No need to worry. All right, I hope this helps.